we have the technology right now to produce way more energy than this world will ever need, to bring the cost of energy down, the supply of energy up. We simply need the leadership. We're seeing mass demand already for green hydrogen. We have a five million tonne order in Germany. We're seeing that interest expressed to us in other parts of the world, certainly in Asia. North America, you could produce 5, 10, 15, 20 million tonnes of green hydrogen. They're going to consume it all themselves. The world wants it. Green hydrogen works simply by splitting water with electricity, which you can get from solar or wind or geothermal. You split that water into oxygen and hydrogen. That hydrogen is a very powerful energy coefficient fuel per kilo. It's incredibly light. And when you burn it, it goes back to where it came from, which is water. I'd say to nations across the world, watch what the Inflation Reduction Act is doing in North America. That's turned the hydrogen economy on its head. That means that green hydrogen right now can effectively compete with grey hydrogen as a fuel immediately, because you get a $3 subsidy for every kilo you produce. Countries which really want to pump prime their economy, which really want to increase the energy balance, the only way which will actually bring the cost of energy down, and that is through the supply of green energy, which is the only energy, the more you use it, the cheaper it becomes. But they are the economies which are going to steal the march on the rest of the world. And you've got Europe and other countries applying these kind of band-aid measures of subsidies for fossil fuel, this and that. It just makes the problem worse. Importation facilities, so we're investing in those, so they're going to be resolved. Methods to transport that hydrogen, that is already happening as well. You can simply put carbon dioxide into green hydrogen. You've created artificial methane, which is just LNG. You can ship it anywhere in the world with existing gas tank infrastructure. They strip off the hydrogen, carbon dioxide ship goes back, gets another big load of hydrogen and keeps that conveyor belt, that global conveyor belt of green hydrogen going and used across a range of technologies and industries. We should encourage the production and the technological advances which you're seeing in solar. We can split the water molecule in the panel to create hydrogen on the spot. Wind towers which have 100 to 130 metre wind blades, no moving parts in the turbine, super efficient, and electrolyzers, of course, which use gravitational energy or magnetic energy to make splitting of the water molecule even more efficient to create a greater freshwater balance in the world. All of these technologies are rolling and we should encourage them, but greater than technological advance is the advance of leadership. It is the economic opportunity of today and we need the leadership to grasp this. We need leadership to stop thinking through their standard rear vision mirror way of managing and thinking, oh, can I really leave oil and gas behind? Can I move my company into a post-fossil fuel era? Well, the answer is yes.